beyond the back of Burke on a remote weapons range in New South Wales. Traditional firepowers being used to shoot down unmanned aerial systems or drones. The Ukrainian conflict has highlighted the increasing importance of drone warfare. Now, for the first time in Australia, cameras are getting a glimpse of a cutting edge and lethal technology being trialled against the growing battlefield threat. It's a new sovereign capability and it allows us to engage drones uh, with uh, high power lasers. This is a demonstration of a directed energy weapon being deployed against a moving enemy target. 34 kilowatts going down range right now. A high powered invisible laser is aimed at the overhead threat then successfully brings it down. Directed energy is, is on that cusp of, of being fielded in, in reasonably large quantities. They generate a lot of heat and that heat can actually damage the device itself. So there's a fine balance. Experimentation with directed energy technology has been underway for years, but its military use is only just beginning. Under AUKUS, Australia and its partners have declared this form of electronic warfare a priority area for development. And in future, it could be deployed against hypersonic weapons or even in space. Even the fastest sort of military vehicles can't evade a directed energy device. But perfecting the technology for the battlefield is a slow process. 